Hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day 14. I hope you guys are enjoying December. It's Friday, <laughs> even better. You know what that means. It's the Q&A where I address your questions about a specific topic in skin care and dermatology. And today I am going to be covering your questions about LED devices. What are they helpful for? Are those LED devices that they sell over the counter for things like wrinkles and improving the appearance of the skin? Do they work? Are they worth it? Um, how about for acne? How about for rosacea? So LED stands for light emitting diode. And there are several LED devices that are available to dermatologists and are by and large used adjunctively to treat a variety of skin diseases. Um, LED devices by themselves are modestly helpful and that's what I'll talk about today. But when combined with a either orally consumed medication or a medication that is applied on the surface of the skin called a photosensitizer, uh, the combination of that along with the along with the LED treatment is known as photodynamic therapy. And that is probably used more frequently um, and has more of a robust uh, track record for uh, things like skin cancer and treatment of skin cancers and uh, pre-skin cancers. So in today's video, I'm not really gonna delve into photodynamic therapy too much, but do know that uh, that is another type of therapy used with LEDs. But LEDs just by themselves, like they're sold over the counter in your different uh, masks, like <laughs> this one by Neutrogena, which I was holding up in the thumbnail. What are those helpful for? Do they really work? So LEDs emit different wavelengths of visible light. Visible light is the light that you can see with your eyes. And the light that LEDs de uh, emit falls into a specific wavelength, which corresponds basically to a color. So blue light, for example, is one LED. And this is important because the wavelength of light of the LED correlates with the depth of penetration of the LED device in the skin. In other words, where in the skin the um, light treatment will, will have an effect. So in the case of blue light, blue light by and large is around 415 nanometers in wavelength. Blue light reaches a depth of penetration of approximately a millimeter. So that means it gets to the top layer of our skin, the epidermis. And by and large, blue light LED treatments are helpful for acne because blue light um, can target the little bacteria in the skin that contributes to acne pathogenesis. That bacteria um, is Propionibacterium, or now he's been renamed Cutibacterium acnes. And he's super sensitive to blue light. And so blue light is an LED uh, treatment that is used for acne. There are also LEDs that are yellow light. It's usually in the ballpark of like 570 nanometers to 670 nanometers. Um, it's just a technical component of it. Um, and it will penetrate, yellow light will penetrate um, about half to two millimeters uh, into the skin. So it gets to, through the, through the top layer of the skin to the very, very top layer of the deeper layer, the, the dermis. It gets to, it gets to a level um, known as the papillary dermis. And that's where a lot of blood vessels um, reside. So yellow light is, um, you know, largely treat, helpful for treating kind of baseline redness, but is used less, less often. Next up is red light. Depending on the device, red light is a wavelength of anywhere from 630 to 700 nanometers. It penetrates the skin a little bit more deeply than yellow light, and specifically it targets uh, what is referred to as the adnexa. So your hair follicles, your pores, um, those are areas of the skin where a lot of, um, of skin pathology um, goes on and it, it penetrates a little bit deeper than blue and yellow light and therefore is also not only helpful um, in acne, but is also helpful in some of the photoaging concerns. So by itself, blue light is effective for helping, helping, I will emphasize, improve the appearance of acne and helpful in treating acne. 
And specifically, as I already mentioned, the bacteria that contributes to acne pathogenesis, Propionibacterium acnes, is particularly sensitive to wavelengths of blue light. So blue light LED can kind of decrease that bacteria and um, is really helpful in decreasing inflammation and acne. And in studies of people with acne undergoing treatments with blue light, um, over a period of eight weeks. Uh, those subjects demonstrated an improvement in the number of inflammatory red lesions of their acne just with blue light LED treatment alone. Blue light LED therapy by itself, however, while it's, while it's helpful in acne for decreasing the red, the severity of the red bumps, it doesn't do anything for whiteheads or blackheads. It's really only targeting those red inflammatory lesions of acne. And so by itself, that's about as good as, as you can get. The nice thing about LED uh, treatments for acne is that they are very safe. Uh, really some of the most common side effects are just a little bit of dryness, irritation, sometimes people complain of itch, there's some transient redness that can occur after the treatment. But by and large, they're very, this, the treatment's very safe and um, you know with minimal side effects. It can also be offered uh, to pregnant women with acne. I have a video kind of going over skincare topics in pregnancy and I address that. A lot of the treatments in, for acne aren't safe during pregnancy, but light therapy is one that, that is, is pretty safe and can result in modest, modest benefit and improvement of the acne. So I underscore modest because by itself LED therapy is not really an adequate treatment for acne uh, and you know is best done alongside other treatments and so you know if you think that you're going to cure your acne with a light treatment <laughs> um, hopefully this video clarifies that that it can it can modestly improve the burden of, of acne lesions particularly those red inflammatory lesions but it's not going to cure the acne necessarily or be sufficient on its own I think people who find the find the LED treatments most beneficial are people who have really bad acne that's pretty inflammatory. So they're gonna get see the most striking difference in those red inflammatory lesions. Then in the case of the yellow LED, uh, because yellow, yellow light LED kind of hits uh, the papillary dermis, as I mentioned, it can be helpful in redness and has been shown to impart modest benefit in some of the baseline redness of rosacea. Um, it doesn't do anything, however, for those, the bumpy stuff of rosacea or um, uh, the kind of papules and pustules. It doesn't, it doesn't target those, it doesn't help those, but it can you know, impart modest benefit to some of the baseline redness of the skin. So if you've been offered LED treatment for your rosacea, do know that you know, yellow light can impart some modest benefit, but I wouldn't expect necessarily robust uh, outcomes. Uh, LED, both blue light and red light treatment are helpful for helpful for photo aging. In combination, in particular, they can improve the appearance of fine wrinkles, fine lines, and skin sagging. Now, along with improvement in wrinkles and fine lines, you also might expect some modest improvement in skin firmness and tightness with LED treatments by themselves for photo aging. Uh, I say modest. Uh, red light in particular, you know, it penetrates the skin a little bit more deeply and can, can impart some modest improvement in skin suppleness. So LED devices for photo aging are, again, like, like with acne, they're not, even, they're not likely going to make you happy just doing that. <laughs> they, they really can serve sort of as enhancements to other cosmetic treatments for photo aging other laser and light based devices alongside things like maybe you've undergone microdermabrasion or peels. Uh, the LED treatment along with that can kind of enhance the effects even further. While LED treatment is utilized alongside topical or oral photosensitizers for the treatment of skin cancers by and large in something called photodynamic therapy, as I mentioned earlier, red and blue light alone can also be helpful in people with a lot of pre-skin cancers, photo, um, skin cancers related to, related to UV exposure. So hopefully that addresses your questions on just kind of like what LEDs are and what 
what they're helpful for in terms of skin um, with acne and, and aging you guys asked me a fair amount about another question that you guys ask is is there what's the risk of undergoing LED light treatment like with blue light um, and damaging the skin I have a video talking about the consequences of visible light exposure on on our skin how visible light exposure can uh, contribute to photo aging to a certain extent and blue light can contribute to um, hyperpigmentation so in people with melasma or people whose acne heals with dark marks uh, blue light um, can can worsen that and can contribute to that as I said in that video there's not really um, a sunscreen that blocks against visible light um, however sunscreens that contain iron oxides and theoretically sunscreens that contain antioxidants can offer some protection against the um, damaging consequences of visible light but bringing it back to LEDs how how do LEDs impact um, that and are LEDs putting you at risk for hyperpigmentation <clears throat> and further further damage to the skin in terms of these adverse consequences of visible light on the skin potentially exacerbating aging it's like so this is kind of counterintuitive right it's like well you're saying that these uh, lights are these LED devices are helpful for photo aging but you also have another video talking about how visible light can contribute to aging um, and the thing that is important for you to understand is that the adverse consequences of visible light on our skin reflects by and large the dose of light that we receive so in a physician's office the devices that are used to to treat these skin concerns that I've talked about those LED devices they um, they utilize a specific dose of the light and so it's safe to the skin and um, you know in undergoing those treatments is is not uh, photo aging you know it, it in fact improves it improves the appearance of aged of, of photo aged skin um, the the negative consequences of visible light in general on the skin are by and large a result of cumulative cumulative exposure and the doses in terms of the safety though LED devices are very safe uh, treatment with LED is a very safe modality very minimal to, if any side effects just some transient redness dryness of the skin and itch um, so that brings me to my next point people ask me well what about at-home LED devices um, and can I review you guys always want me to review every single device out there and so I will just tell you this objectively you know there's no point in me doing that because I'm going to say the same thing about all of them um, but objectively speaking the LED devices that are over, sold over the counter their outputs are incredibly variable as far as the dose that's delivered um, they they are much much weaker than what you would get in a physician's office so they're safe but how effective they are I can never tell you because there are no there are no studies looking at at these over-the-counter devices and knowing that their outputs are so variable the outputs on over-the-counter LED devices are incredibly variable and very very weak in comparison to the approved device that are only available to physicians um, and uh, in medical practices so um, you know there's no there's no way for me to ever know objectively which one is better than the other um, you know and anyone telling you that one one over-the-counter device is better than another it's based on their personal experience with it so it's going to be kind of biased all right like you don't know if they got they saw improvement in whether it be acne or aging because they were using something else uh, in the case of acne maybe maybe they were doing something that worsened the acne and they stopped doing it kind of at the same time I mean you just don't know you can't control for these things so it's really hard to go off of just consumer reports of how good these things are Suffice it to say, they're safe. Um, you know, they they are safe. Uh, they're 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 FDA cleared, so that means they've shown to be safe and with no harm. Uh, but I would not expect a a marked st striking improvement, given that the outputs are so variable and so much lower than what you get in a physician's office. Um, you know the the outputs that are delivered in a physician's office the 
the outcome they they yield is pretty modest, okay? So you're going to get even less than that with an over-the-counter device. Um, so what's given in a physician's office is helpful as an adjuvant to other treatments. It's modestly helpful and really not enough by itself. So the over-the-counter things are, are even less, less uh, robust. Um, so I can never compare one versus the other. Um, you know, I, in my spot treatment video, I went over the Neutrogena um, light there, the LED wand. Um, and, you know, people find that to be really helpful for inflammatory lesions of acne. Like if you get a red acne bump, uh, a red acne cyst, that, that people, you know, people report good effects. I've had patients say that, you know, that helps a lot in decreasing, decreasing the duration of time they experience the red bump and improving the healing of the red bump from, from the acne. So the wand is kind of nice for people who here and there get, you know, one or two acne lesions that are painful and uncomfortable and, and uh, you know, they want to get, get rid of them fast. As I mentioned in that video, not only is that safe, but it's also safe in pregnancy. So um, and it's pretty affordable. Um, and so it, you know, it's, it's worth a shot. I'm not saying you won't see a benefit and people, patients tell me that they have decreased uh, duration of time of a particular lesion and that it clears better. So I have some, some confidence in that one, but I, I honestly couldn't tell you if that is better than any others, any of the others. Um, and then the mask, the mask is, you know, going to work better or be a better uh, thing to pursue if you're somebody who has a lot of red inflammatory lesions like all over your face um, that you're trying to improve um, the mask is a better is a better thing you do it for um, one one um, pack comes with 30 daily treatment sessions so you can get some modest reduction in the burden of acne lesions with this um, potentially <laughs> how much better this is than any other or how worse you know which one's better I can't objectively say um, no Neutrogena does not sponsor me whatsoever or you know know or care that I exist um, but I do have some confidence that at least this is safe and worth a shot it is not incredibly expensive um, so I you know, I feel comfortable with the Neutrogena one, but I have no interest, you guys, to be frank, in reviewing every single LED over-the-counter thing out there because it just gets to be me saying the same thing over and over again. Like, I can't say for sure which is better, which is not, because they're not regulated and they're variable, their outputs are variable and the doses are so low and they're not studied. So that, that becomes, you know, a little bit of me saying the same thing over and over again. Um, so that's the take-home point, which hopefully you will get from this video is that. You know, you can potentially get some minor to modest improvement with the over-the-counter things, but they're not regulated in the same way. The outputs are not as robust. So, and LED treatment by itself is not enough anyways to really help anything. It's best done alongside other things with, with your doctor, with your treating dermatologist. But, at the end of the day, LED is safe to pursue. Um, very few side effects um, that we know of. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you know, I hope this video was helpful in kind of clarifying LED treatments. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.